Hi, and welcome to a video tutorial on how I plan to trade the USD CHF against the new week. Before I go on, it's important to note that the new week is laced with key events that are likely to affect the dollar. Hence, we need to prepare ourselves in such a way that we can catch this move when it finally happens. So I was able to spool out the major key events that is likely going to push price this week. And we have the CB consumer confidence, which is coming, coming up on the 30th of August. And we have the ISM manufacturing PMI and the non-farm payroll, which is coming up on Friday. So with this information in hand, let's zoom into the chat and let's see what is happening from a technical standpoint. So going to the daily time frame, the first thing you will observe here on the daily time frame is that price action has been trending on the high side since the beginning of the year. So in this regard, I was able to connect the series of higher lows at this point to give us a resultant in bullish trend line that has been guiding price action since the beginning of the year. However, it is important that we note here that uh, since the Months of June, we can see that price has been trending to the lower side. We saw this engulfing candle that took price right into the 0 0.95700 level. Price came back to as high as the 0 0.990 area. And we saw a scenario during the holidays of this month where price broke down, retest that level to push price to back into the bullish trend line we identified earlier. And in the last couple of weeks, we have seen how price has come back into the, sorry, come back into the 0.95700 level. In fact, it was, um, it's broke right through it. So that's the first thing I was able to identify here on the USDCHF. Then if we zoom into the current the structure between the month of April and now, I was able to identify a key level at around the 0 0.95700 after looking at the structure. So if we look at what happened in the month of May, we can see how that level has been a major determinant for buying power. And we can see again in the month of June, stroke the month of July, that level again was um, holding price action for buying opportunities. However, since the breakdown of this level during um, the month of July stroke the month of August, we saw how that level became a resistant point, that is selling niche. Now, during the course of last week's trading session, we finally saw the breakout of that neckline, of that key level rather, one more time, which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line I was able to identify after connecting the series of lower highs here. So we can see we have price breakout of that structure. And what I want to be looking forward to here is how we're going to be having price continue to the upside. That is, price as since we've cited a breakout of that bearish trend line, are we going to be seeing, since we saw a breakout retest of that bearish trend line, are we going to be seeing price continue to the upside? Or is this move going to be a false breakout where we're going to be witnessing probably price will break down that key level one more time with a retest of structure to send price crashing to the downside. So these are the two scenarios we want to be looking forward to this week. So in order to do that, let's scale down to a much lower time frame where we want to see what is happening in the last uh, one week here. We want to see what is happening within this area. We want to look at the structure to see if we are still going to be holding the bullish potential on this one, or we're going to be looking forward to a bearish move to the downside. So in this regard, let's scale down to the four hours time frame. So on the four hours time frame, if we look at what happened during the course of last week's trading session, hold on a second, let me show you what I'm talking about here. We can see that the price began the week at the 0 0.95800 area, we can see this is where price started last week, right on the neckline, right on the key level, we were able to identify at the 0 0.95700 area on the daily time frame, if you remember. And we noticed that price 
consolidated around this area. There was a consolidation phase before we saw the breakout of that structure. And price went to as far as the 0 0.9700 area. And we also saw another consolidation phase that took price right back into that key level with something that looks like a very, very sharp rejection of that level, hereby forming an armor candle to the upside. So going into the new week, what is going to be our plans on the USDCHF? Now, with the current structure we have here, that is, we have this consolidation phase here, right between the 0 0.9700 area and the 0 0.95700 area. What I want to be doing is to identify the kind of structure that price has formed within this consolidation phase. So the first thing I want to be doing is to be bringing out my line chart and then connect this point together. So if we connect this point here, hold on a second, let's see. I think around the 0 0.96200 area, I guess. Let's make this a purple. So we have something here. And then we have um, these lower highs. So let's connect these lower highs together. And then what do we have? We have a structure that is similar to what we saw on the USDJPY. Um, I shared a video earlier on the USDJPY. We are also looking for a bullish momentum there. So we have a similar structure. So what did we see here? We can see how this level at the 0 0.96200 level was rejected multiple times by the buyers during the course of last week trading session, giving us a clue into the strength of the buyers at this juncture in the market. So with this level identified here, which was followed by uh, a breakout of that bearish trend line, I want to be tending towards a bullish momentum this week. So let's label this level 0 0.96200, I guess, yes, 200 levels for the sake of clarity. Let's give it a purple, okay? So we have something like this. So going into the new week, what are we going to be looking forward to and how do we intend taking advantage of that bullish momentum that we are projecting here on the USDCHF? So with the key levels in that 0 0.96200 area, we want to be comfortable in our buying position if price continues to oscillate right above this level. And if price continues, tends towards the below the 0 0.96200 area, we don't want to be in a buying position as we want to see how price is going to play out. So right now, going into the new week, what I want to be seeing here is this. We already have a breakout of that structure. Then I want to be looking forward to price coming back to do a retest of this bearish trend line or even it could plunge to as far as the 0 0.96200 level where I want to be looking forward to a reversal pattern or a structure that supports a trend continuation to the upside on my lower time frame to join the potential rally here. So I would like to pause the video at this point and um, be rest assured that during the early hours of the new week, I will be sharing an update in the comment section of this video to give you an update of how my plans is going to be like. So if this video has been of immense help, in making your individual decision on the USDCHF this week, kindly support this project by clicking on the like button. You will also want to follow me on my TradingView platform at DarkSherry so that you don't miss out on the regular updates I normally share from time to time. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you Monday morning and do have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.